Jessica, doctors are saying if you can hold up your mask to the light or to the sun and see through it, well, it's not doing its job. On top of that, the CDC is updating its guidelines on mask wearing, finally answering at least one question. It's a surprise to no one who thinks about infectious diseases, public health, public safety, but it's great to have it as the official law of the land. Dr. Paul Pottinger with UW Medicine says the official word from the CDC is significant. We hope that this will help change people's mind and get them to be eager to cover their faces whenever they're out of the house. The CDC's updated guidance suggesting that there's no question about it. Masks help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and protect those wearing them. The big question, why did the CDC update this guidance about eight or nine months into this pandemic? With time comes experience. With experience comes scientific information. I think at this point we have numerous studies that settle that question without a doubt. The question is, do masks protect us from each other? And the answer is yes, absolutely. This is no longer a scientific question. Which now bodes the question, do we go crazy on the mask, doubling up, or just stick to wearing one effective mask at a time? If you can, you need something that's a tighter weave, and it should be multiple layers of fabric. So fabric, tight weave, multiple layers. Not a definitive answer on wearing more than one mask, but doctors say make sure the mask you do wear properly fits critical information at a time health experts are warning about a surge in cases. If we have this continued growth of COVID-19 transmission in the community, it makes it very difficult for us to take care of people with the level of quality and excellence that we're accustomed to that everybody deserves. So their decisions matter. Yeah, so we know early on in the pandemic, there were just so many questions, but now researchers have been able to discover a lot of things, and that is why they were able to come to this latest conclusion. In Seattle tonight, Britt Moore, King 5 News.